Hi, my name is Katie Crooks. I'm a Public Programs Coordinator at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and its Renwick Gallery. One of the programs I coordinate, Handy Hour, features handmade crafts. And one of the crafts that we have is envelope making. You can make cool envelopes with any paper that you have lying around the house. Here you can see I took our calendar of events and I made it into a snazzy little envelope. I also made a gift tag envelope out of some shiny gold paper. And this little guy was made out of a page of an old book. Excellent way to recycle some things that you have lying around the house. To show you how to do this craft, you'll need a few materials. First, you need a regular envelope, the size that you would like to make the envelope out of your fancy paper. You'll need the fancy paper you want to use. You'll need a scissors, a pencil, some newspaper, a little bit of water in a shallow tub, some tape, and then some type of heavy stock of paper. I'm recycling an old piece of file folder. Something like that would work. An old cereal box would work just as well. First thing you want to do is you're going to take your envelope and you're going to submerge it in water. Don't get it completely soaked, just good and damp. Let it sit out for a bit on the newspaper. And I've already placed mine in the water. And when you've done that, it will start to peel away where the adhesive material was so that you're left with a deconstructed envelope. Go ahead and take that and blot it against the newspaper and get it as dry as possible. I recommend then leaving it sit out for maybe an hour or two so that it dries. Because right now, as you can see, there's a little tear in this one. It's pretty fragile when it's wet. I'm going to set that over here as I already have a dried, deconstructed envelope. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to trace this onto your heavy paper. That way you can make something that is very sturdy. Just sit it on there so it fits and none of the edges run off the side. Trace it with pencil, which to save time, I've already done. From that, all you need to do is cut it out of the file folder or whatever heavy paper you have. I've already given it a start. Pretty easy. You'll just want a nice sharp scissors to make good clean lines. Also, another time saving trick for us, I've already cut one out. This particular envelope is going to be just under six inches by just over four inches. A nice good standard size envelope. Take your form and take your fancy paper. This can be almost anything. The thicker, more durable the paper, the better it'll last when you put it in the mail because when you do get done with this, as long as you use proper postage, you will be able to use this envelope for regular mailings. Just go ahead, place your form on the paper, make sure that it doesn't run off on any of the sides, grab your pencil, and just trace around. I got a head start and I already traced the form on this piece of paper. So all I have to do is cut this out just like I did for the cardstock template. And to move us along quicker, I already have one that I've cut out. Looks an awful lot like the previous form. Usually, to fold it up, I just eyeball it and fold it the same way that I unfolded the regular envelope. You take the side panels and fold them into the middle and you can already see how that envelope shape is taking form. Take the bottom and bring it up. Now, if you're not comfortable eyeballing it, you can also take the form from the old envelope that you dried out and you can fold them together. So just refold the envelope that you already had and it will help guide you. Then you can just unfold it after you've made the creases and refold it back together. Take a little tape. If you've made it with enough allowance, you can use glue or double-sided tape so that it can be a hidden adhesive and people won't necessarily see the tape. I'm just using regular tape here and I'm gonna tape down the edges. To hold everything in place. 
just make sure that your tape doesn't hit this little part here or it'll stick shut and you won't be able to get your mail inside. This paper is pretty decorative, so I'm going to have to use an address label for my mailing address and my return address. Um, but once I put on proper postage, a regular forever stamp should work fine and I put a letter on the inside, it will be good to send in the mail. You can seal it with glue, double-sided tape, regular tape like you did the bottom, or you can use a decorative sticker or seal to hold your envelope shut. And that's how you do it.